Hello, I am Professor N. B. Ulle from G. H. Rai Soni Institute of Engineering and Technology, Pune. This is my third video uh, based on the calculation of the different transmission line parameters using this MIT chart. Uh, in this video, we will try to understand how to calculate uh, the output impedance of the transmission line for the given specifications. The things are again simple. First, we will sort out the given data here. In this case, the characteristic impedance is given, which is given as uh, here it is uh, 300 ohm, and the standing wave ratio is given, which is uh, 4.84. Uh, the voltage minima is situated at the uh, 6 centimeter from the load, and the frequency is given. Here, the difficulty is that here the distance is given in terms of the centimeters, and Smith chart uh, does not deal with. Uh, the centimeters or meters or kilometers it, it deals uh, the distance in terms of the wavelength the first task is to convert uh, this given distance uh, in terms of the wavelength now here uh, how to do that the lambda is given by the simple formula that is c by f where c is the velocity of light which is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 f is the frequency which is given as 200 megahertz here that is 2 into 10 to the power of 6 which is 1.5 meters we will take the ratio of the l minimum and lambda which is something like this here l minimum divided by lambda which value is coming to be 4 into 10 to the power of minus 2 which is 0 0.04 that means the location of the minima from the load is 0 0.05 lambda. Now we can deal this example because now the distance is available in terms of the wavelength. Now how, how, how we are going to deal with this particular problem? Now here in this case what are the things available here? This is the transmission line terminated by some load impedance and we are planning to calculate here the load impedance which is zr here or zl maybe this is zr we are planning to calculate this value what is available thing here on the transmission line the voltage maxima and minima are available here and what is the available thing the l minima and the load this distance is given this distance is given and which is given as a 0 0.04 lambda and in this case we are traveling towards the load means on the smith chart we have to travel in the anti-clockwise direction from the minima point now here we will discuss the similar things uh, in the next slide here now what are the things uh, in this particular case first uh, while calculating the output uh, impedance or load impedance we have to start with uh, the plotting of the uh, vswr circle uh, because VSWR is given as it is uh, that is 4.84 means here this is the center of the Smith chart on the RHS of the center of the Smith chart uh, we, whatever uh, the value we have that is known as a VSWR here and the, we will plot that particular circle which is uh, 4.84 and it is plus J0 because it is available on the real axis or uh, on the horizontal axis now here taking center here we will draw the one circle and this circle is nothing but the S circle. Now anyhow our load is going to lie on this particular it's, uh, circle itself. Now here on this side we have the voltage minima and on this side we have the voltage maxima because this is the short circuit point that is SC point and this is the OC point that is open circuit point for the impedance sense. and here in this example we are dealing with the impedance sense, that's why we will uh, consider that much. Now here in this case this is the minima point. Now here in this case its coordinates are 0.21 plus J0. Now what is available to us, available to us is, uh, that is, uh, we have calculated, uh, uh, that is L minima, that is distance between L minima, uh, which is 0 0.04 lambda. Is here, in this case, uh, this is minima point, this is minima point here, this is the minima point. From this minima point, we will travel in the anticlockwise direction, because what is available thing, as I have discussed here, available thing is the voltage minima last minima and here this distance is given as 0 0.04 or we have calculated as 0 0.04 and we are traveling towards the load to calculate this load value that's why on the smith chart we have to travel in the anti-clockwise direction 
Now here, in this case, if we are traveling in the anticlockwise direction by the distance of 0 0.04 lambda, now here we will locate this point. We will locate this point, something here, somewhere here, uh, by using the scale, and we will read out its coordinates. We will read out its coordinate, and here, whatever the coordinates we have, that is nothing but the normalized value of the load impedance. Now here, this is the normalized value of the load impedance and if we have the normalized value of the load impedance, we can calculate its load impedance just by multiplying by the characteristic impedance in this example which is given as it is a 300 ohm. Means here, in this case, the load impedance ZL which is ZLN that is normalized value into Z0, the normalized value is this that is 0.23 uh, plus uh, sorry minus J 0.24 into that value which is 300 it is giving to be this much is the value of the load impedance and we have calculated this value by using this mix chart. It is a very very simple task to uh, work out with the calculation of the input impedance maybe load impedance maybe other things using the switch chart. Now here, I will go for another example. This may be the trick, trick, tricky example. Now here, in this case uh, or in this particular example, uh, as compared to the last example, in the last example, they have given the frequency F. And this F will help to calculate the uh, L minima in terms of the lambda. Because we have, what we have done, the L minima is available in terms of the centimeters. L. Okay. It is available in terms of the uh, it is available in terms of the uh, L minimum in terms of the centimeter and uh, we have we calculated the lambda then we have calculated the ratio and so on. Now here in this case in place of that what 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 is the new given thing? The standing wave ratio minima 140 centimeters apart. This value is given. Now here. If we are looking at this graph, this is for the voltage and this other graph is for the current and if we are looking at it, looking at it, now here in this case, if we are looking at this distance, if we are looking at this distance, that is, uh, this is L minima, uh, that is minima point and this is minima point separated by this distance, how much it is? Similarly, if we are looking for this, this is minima and here is a minima, look at this point. And this distance is, here is 0, that lambda by 4, lambda by 2, 3 lambda by 4 and it is, uh, uh, that is lambda. Now here in this case if we are looking at this, this distance is the lambda by 2. Means always in case of the standing wave ratio, uh, the minimas or maximas are separated by the lambda by 2. Means here, whatever the given value is here, 140 centimeters. And this uh, lambda by 2 is 140 centimeters. And if we are calculating the lambda 2 into this value, that is 280 centimeters, we will convert into the meters, that is 2.8 meters. And then we have the location of the L minima, which is 35 centimeters. Its value will be, that is 35 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meters. And if we are taking the ratio, its ratio is coming to be 0.125. And if we are calculating the L minima, its value is 0.125. 1, 2, 5 lambda. And if we know the L minima, again the procedure is same as the previous example. Only the calculation of this L minima is different because uh, of the maybe confusion, maybe this L minima separated by 140 centimeters apart. Means always minimas or maximas are separated by the lambda by 2, always in case of the transmission lines. Now here in this case, again what, what, what the procedure we will follow? We will draw the S circle and then we will find out the minima point. This may be the center of this mid chart here. And then uh, we will travel in the anticlockwise direction again because we are traveling towards the load. Because this is the minima is available. We are traveling in this direction. Means we are traveling towards the load. Means on the smith chart we have to travel in the anticlockwise direction here. We will locate here. We will read out its coordinate. And whatever its coordinates are there, those coordinates are nothing but the value of the output impedance in this example also. Now here, this example I will keep it as an assignment uh, for you. You can do it very easily by referring the previous example. It is not uh, difficult. Now here, in the next video, uh, maybe in the next video, I will discuss uh, the single stub and double stub matching for uh, the calculation of the output impedance and uh, similar things here. Uh, that's it for this particular video. Thank you.